All righty. Hi again, printmakers. So just a little add on now after we've let that screen fill drawing fluid screen dry completely. We've moved over to our sink to start washing it out. Um, you can also use do this in a hose outside where all this material won't get into your kitchen sink or other sink inside your house. We are using, you can definitely see an art sink in an art studio. You can see the paint that's dried on the bottom. It's a nice deep sink. If you can, I would highly recommend, like Brett said, going outside and using your hose becomes a whole lot easier. You can see Brett is trying to, with his finger, rub out some of the blue areas. Um, and, and I recommend you can do that, but just be careful. Don't use your fingernail. The, the pressure from your finger itself is really good, but if you scratch in there with your fingernail itself, you might, uh, you might scratch some of the, the, the screen fill itself. So Go. you can see Brett and I are kind of tag teaming this and going in there together. And we're flipping the screen back and forth. The goal here really is um, to kind of reveal that drawing fluid image. So what you're pushing it through and exposing where you're going to be able to print through while that screen fill stops out the other areas. Um, we're not really applying very um, a lot of water pressure or any kind of jet mechanism on here. The most we're doing is putting our finger in front of the tap to give it a little extra pressure, but you want to be careful of not to spray out. Um, your stopping mechanism, which is the drawing fluid. Though if you were to, um, there are options to go back and paint in some of the areas and go through the drying process again, which we actually did have to do um, using this at home. Um, it, it's not an easy process and it might take you two or three tries, like Brett said. Um, give yourself like time and the ability to take your time with this and go slow and be gentle. If it doesn't all wash out immediately, that's okay. I'll keep it under water, keep spraying it, uh, and eventually that thick layer of drawing fluid will uh, wear down and wash away. But you have to really be patient. Um, again, I wouldn't apply like any abrasive scrub brush or anything, because um, if you wash away, like Brett said, your screen filler, you gotta start over and do it again. Um, and in order to keep the images that you've made and you know the excitement that you're working on for what this will look like you're hoping um, and as we as Brett noted you know had to do it a couple times to make sure we got it right uh, which can be at quite aggravating but at the same time uh, we were very happy with the results all right that's about it, folks, for washing out your screen. The what note I'll leave you with is that patience, planning, and time are screen printers and printers' best friends. Um, so be easy and be generous with the time, and don't try to do it all in a night. Um, take it from a student who used to live in the screen shop. Um, it doesn't end up well. Give yourself plenty of time to get the work done, like Sam says. All right. Be generous and be gentle with yourselves. Later, printmakers. Bye.